I like this a lot. It's such a great way to add hydration. And I'm just gonna again show you how my skin is looking close up after applying at least three to four layers of this glycerin mist because some people are just gonna say that it's too shiny. Like right now, the light that I'm using is a little strong, but you can see my texture very clearly. It just added a lot of hydration. You can see the bounce. My skin is not at all dry. Hey guys, how are you? This is Dr. Ria and today's video is one of the most requested videos that I've had on my channel. I, I thought that rather than making small videos or reels, uh, I really wanted to explain the whole thing to you properly. It is making the cute little DIY glycerin mist or a hydrating mist, a setting spray, uh, moisturizer anything you can call it all right it's extremely simple it's cost effective it can also replace your moisturizer completely and uh yeah it's not really costly all you need to do is i would say invest in these small little spray bottles formula or whatever i'm going to tell you it's such a great one to travel with especially if you can find a great spray bottle I'm going to link every single thing that I mentioned down below so that you have easy access to these products. Now this is such a small little bottle, I think this is 10 to 12 ml, okay? What you can do is you can just always have it in your purse. It's a setting spray and I'm going to tell you this might be a great competitor or probably better than the MAC Fix Plus because it is extremely costly while well, this is going to be like what? 10 rupees less than one dollar if you really uh want to compare it by the price and this can go in any purse now this purse is really small i'll still always have this on me and since uh, i was making a fresh new batch i thought i'll share it with you guys i'm really sorry i'm shooting it on my iphone camera and along with that <clears throat> my voice is just <laughs> so let's just start with the video now there are a few different ways you can make it and i'm going to talk about all of them to you now the first batch i've just made a little one this is glycerin with water now if you want to talk about the bottle look at this bottle it's really small but the spray is really fine it's extremely fine before i tell you the formula of making this i'm going to talk to you about how to use this now what is glycerin glycerin is a uh, compound a chemical that's uh like a humectant it is like hyaluronic acid but for me it is way better than hyaluronic acid because this is also more hydrating moisturizing i feel like it gives that uh hydration and the glow and all of that for me i am team glycerin and not team hyaluronic acid however you can make this a mix of hyaluronic acid and glycerin i'll tell you how so the benefit of this this can be used as your moisturizer if you have dry skin or if you just feel like midday you want your skin to have some hydration this is the one that you can just spray or if you work in an office or in a space where you are in ac all the time ac sucks out the moisture out of your skin just spraying your skin with this is going to give that glow back i've just sprayed it right now on my makeup all right i haven't really applied much but uh, I've just sprayed this on my skin after I applied my concealer and powder. So this is a great setting spray. It's a good setting spray only if you have a good nozzle or spray. If it's chunky water coming out, it's going to disturb your makeup. But if it's a very fine mist, this is going to be... You will never have to buy that hydrating setting spray. Now this is not the alcohol based setting spray that really... Uh, turns your makeup into a film of plastic but this is just going to add that hydration and glowy look back to your skin along with that you can use it on your body as well all right again once you're done with your skincare if you still feel like your skin is dry at night if you want to use it if you wash your face and you like using toners this can be a great replacement if you feel like you have acne prone skin and you just don't want to use moisturizers 
glycerin is going to be the thing for you this mist is a very lightweight because it doesn't have a lot of bulk right it just going to be water with a little bit of glycerin just going to create that very thin even film especially for oily and acne prone skin this is something that i would highly recommend if you feel like moisturizers are breaking me out no matter which moisturizer i use you can start with this start with trying to use this now uh, this is a small bottle that i have made but you can also get it into a bigger spray bottle like this one or yet another bigger spray bottle now i used to make it in this but i realized that uh, glycerin is sweet if you taste glycerin it's a very sweet compound all right so the chances of bacteria growing onto it is like a little high so since we're not using any preservatives in this to preserve it i suggest making smaller quantities than making bigger quantities because you want to finish it within a week that's a better way you can still make this if you use it that much but um i did try to make it in this i did use it but after a couple of weeks i just didn't want to use it because a uh, really long time to just have water in bottles All right. Even this size is great, especially for every day. If you just want to have it near your sink, so that everybody can use it, a great size. But today I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it in this small little bottle. All right. Now this is the one that I found in my pharmacy. I'm going to link down a couple of them that you can buy on Amazon or from different brands, so that you have that option. But again, you can go to your pharmacy and just tell them that hey, I want glycerin. Do not get really big bottles. You will not be able to use it. Get the smallest bottle that you can get, at least for the first time. All right. Now. there are a few different uh, mixes that i could suggest but the most easy one is going to be um filling it up with water so what i did was i filled it up with water till here all right and then i just added like a few drops of glycerin to here now you don't really need to be a chemist and be like i'm going to measure the hell out of it but i'm going to say that you want to have like five parts of water that means if you are doing five spoons of water add one spoon of glycerin that is the ratio that i would recommend or go higher that means add more water but when you add too much glycerin glycerin is also very sticky it'll not feel really good on your skin it might feel very heavy sticky weird on your skin so add at least five packs of water to one part of glycerin all right so this is the batch that i've already made with that formula now i'm going to show you another couple of them all right so just this bottle I'm going to link the bottle down below because I really fell in love with this. It's a glass bottle. Uh looks really aesthetic and the perfume spray is really good. It's not really costly. <clears throat> If you want different sizes, you can definitely get different sizes, but I really love the 10 ml one because uh it can go in my makeup pouch that I travel with. It can go in any single purse. I can put it in my pocket. That's how much I love it. I can put it almost any single where. I can put it in my wallet if I need to, right? Now the second method, the first method was the water method. The second method I'm going to talk about is using a toner. Now, being a skincare creator or creating content with like skincare products and reviews and all that, I get so many toners, the Korean skincare toners, and I really do enjoy them. But I don't like doing this. I don't. I just don't reach out for my toners, and they're just there. I have like piles and piles and heaps of toners. Love the formulas, but I prefer my toners and sprays. So since I have a lot of toners, what I do is the ones that I like, all right. You can also use gulab jamun for this if you are into all of that. So what I do is I take my toner, I fill it up. Now this, uh, I would say that if you have a dropper or something, it would be really good. I'm just going to fill it up. It's going to take a little while. I really like fragrances. Mild fragrances, not like heavily scented skincare. But I like uh, when my skincare, especially all of these mists, when they have it. I would suggest using some kind of a dropper, but uh, I don't have it on me right now, so I'm just going to do that. So I filled it up. Can you see? With the toner. The next thing I'm going to do is take the glycerin. Again, I wish I had a dropper. I can't find the dropper that I used to create the first batch. All right, and just add. Now I'm not. Can you can see that I'm not really measuring it. This much toner, and then or water. Or just if you're doing it with water, just assume that it's water. All right, and then I'm just going to very roughly. Uh, yep, my glycerin. 
that's it the uh, concentration of glycerin that you prefer you can play with that after you make it for a couple of times you'll know what exactly is the you know uh, combination or the ratio that works to you i really got it everywhere so i'm just gonna wipe my hands clean the bottom is a lot it's such a great way to add hydration it dries onto your skin really good so something that i do is i also use this to dampen my beauty blender if you use the beauty sponges and all of that i apply it as a primer for my makeup i use it in every single way that i can another thing that you can do if you're just being extra is um we just made this so i'm just going to do it for this only and right? we have some space over here so you can just take any hyaluronic acid plain hyaluronic acid serum um take a couple of drops and add it into this what does it do doesn't really make any difference but uh if you are into it feeling like a chemist you know a skin care creator guju guju that's it so now you have hyaluronic acid and glycerin and if you use your toner you have all the benefits of your toner as well such a great hydrating mist and now this is your own little concoction of a setting spray of a priming spray of a hydrating spray a mist all of that and it's extremely cheap this one bottle this one bottle even if you're overusing it should easily last you at least a week i think this video really got out of hands was really long but i needed to cover all of my bases so as i said you want one part of glycerin in five parts of water if you want to dilute it more dilute it with water but do not use too much glycerin it will it might cause acne and it might also feel really on a peeling on your skin how many times can you use it through the day as many times as you want once you apply it i feel like the hydration uh, on your skin because of glycerin stays for a really long time you don't really have to keep on reapplying it every hour or so except if you have really dry weather or very dry skin this is such a great way and the thing is uh, if you're using this regularly throughout the day at least like four five times you'll notice that your skin's internal hydration is going to increase the glow the moisture content inside your skin is going to increase because this is a humectant but i feel like glycerin works in such better ways compared to hyaluronic acid and if you really love hyaluronic acid if you have a serum you can just add a couple of drops of hyaluronic acid as well to get the benefits of that i i really do hope that it helped go down comment what is the next thing that you want to know um, none of this is sponsored any product details that you want i'm going to put it down below uh, that's it for today and bye have a great day